The following video has been brought to you by RYN Studios. Release your nerd. Hello everyone, my name is The Camp Clubs, and welcome to another episode of Comment Destroyer. Uh, in this episode, we're going to kind of get back to the old style of doing things. I'm going to uh, give you guys a handful of choices as to what you guys pr would pick in the preferred scenario. Um, so, today's question is, which of the following is your favorite fighting game franchise? Now, being a gamer, I've played a lot of video games over the years. Um, my preferred style is mostly uh, fighting or wrestling games. Um, mainly just because I've, I've always been better at most fighting games than I have at most other styles. Uh, I'm not particularly great at any of them, um, but just that seems to be the style I've been best at or have, have the most fun playing anyway. Um, so in this particular scenario, I want to know which major fighting game franchise you guys like the best. Um, now there's going to be four choices here. The first is Mortal Kombat, the, uh, to my knowledge, longest running game series of the ones that are mentioned in this in this uh, game franchise series. Uh, the second one is Street Fighter. Street Fighter is probably the second longest running with a lot of side stories as well. After that we have excuse me, after that we have Virtua Fighter, which has been going on for quite a while, mostly during the uh, I believe the Sega Saturn days is when that really got started. Um, so a few years after the launch of Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat. And then we have option number four, which is Soul Calibur. Soul Calibur didn't really start until the PlayStation days, the original PlayStation days, so it's the newest of all four choices. Um, now I've played games from all four franchises. Um, I haven't played some of the newer versions of these games, but I've played. Um, I know I played Mortal Kombat 9. Uh, I played uh, Street Fighter 4. I believe I played Virtual Fighter 4 on PS2. And uh, Soul Calibur, I actually have. I believe the fourth game on PS3. Um, so I played a lot of the games. Not quite the newest ones, but I played a lot of the newer copies of the games. Um, my preference is actually the Mortal Kombat franchise. Um, I don't know why, it's just something about the fact that I've been playing that game for so many years. Um, I played it starting as soon as it came out, um, when it came out with the original Mortal Kombat on Sega Genesis. Um, so I've been playing that game, uh, I've played almost every version of that game. Um, not so much like the side stories like the Central Origins or the Sonya, Bl Sonya Jack Special Forces, I didn't play really any of those. Um, I heard those didn't do quite so well because they weren't really fighting games per se, they are more action-adventure based. Um, which is okay. I mean, nothing wrong with the with the company trying a new direction. But I prefer just the straight-up fighting style of Mortal Kombat. Also, I like the fact that they're trying to push the envelope with every new Mortal Kombat game that they come out with. Uh, I think they took it upon themselves since they are responsible for the ESRB rating system that we have today. I think they take it upon themselves to see how far they can stretch it before finally they hit hit a level that that uh, is considered too far. Um, case in point being, with the rating system right now, the highest marketable rating is is M, uh, which is for uh, which is recommended for players that are 17 and older, um, or 18 and older in some states. Uh, what that means is that if someone under that age wants to buy a copy of the game, they have to have their parents' permission, and the parent usually are supposed to be present at the time of purchase. Because at that point, it's then on the parent's discretion as to whether or not the child can play the game. There's actually a rating that's higher than M. There's a, there's a rating called AO, which stands for Adults Only. That means that a store cannot sell the game to a minor at all. It has to be sold directly to an adult and only for the adult to play. Uh, again, once the adult gets home, it's at their discretion to play the game. Now, AO is so such a hard rating uh, to market, most stores won't carry AO games. So most gaming companies will try to get just below the AO borderline to where they still get the M rating. Uh, I think that's what Mortal Kombat does every time they make a game. They try to stretch out that M rating as far as possible. Um, I've seen some video footage of the new uh, Mortal Kombat 10. It looks awesome. Also looks very graphic, especially with the with the uh, X-ray moves and the fatalities. I've heard the sound effects alone are more graphic and more realistic than they ever have been. 
Um, and I think that's that's really starting to push it for them. And I know a lot of people, especially people that are uh, from an older generation, are not huge fans of that. Um, I, I don't mind. I, I love Blood and Gore. I, and that's why I love playing the Mortal Kombat games. With the Street Fighter games, there's less blood. Uh, I think in like the old like Street Fighter 2, or maybe the first Street Fighter game, there was some post-fight uh, cartoons where the where the fighters had some blood on them, but that was like the most graphic that you'd ever see any of the Street Fighter characters uh, in the games. Um, movies and such are a different story. But yeah, Street Fighter is a little more tame in that respect. Uh, they also don't have the fatalities, they don't have any finisher, they have just a special move series. Um, which is still cool, it's still a lot of fun, very enjoyable for me. Um, see with Virtua Fighter, Virtua Fighter's main thing is that there's really no blood involved in it. Um, it's really a lot more tame, probably the most tame of all four choices. Um, they also incorporate things like uh, like pawn out of the fighting area, um, which Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat typically didn't have. Um, they also incorporate that uh, you can customize what your character looks like, adding like you know customized coloring on their on their outfits, adding uh, special items that your character has, just just all aesthetic stuff. Don't really do anything most times. I mean, there there are some items I think that give you like a power bonus or something like that. Overall, it really doesn't do anything for your character. It's just uh, something that makes your character look cool. A little bit of customization is what they're adding into that one, which is fine. I mean, I, I was always intrigued by the concept of Virtua Fighter. I just wasn't as big a fan of it as I was the other games. Um, now, with the last choice, Soul Calibur, they added a lot more customization, especially with Soul Calibur 3. They allowed you to start creating your own characters. Um, this one is different in the sense that it adds weapons, but it's also similar in the sense that it really doesn't have hardly any blood. Now there's still the concept of death, there's still the concept of, of people being killed, but uh, like gore and whatnot, it doesn't have any of that stuff. Um, and doesn't even really have a whole lot of special powers per se. I mean there's some like power attacks, but they're not like projectiles, like you're not going to see much uh, in the way of throwing fireballs or freezing your enemies or anything like that. You might see an occasional fireball from one or two characters, but for the most part it's mostly just like charging your character's power and doing one really strong attack. Um, so most of the appeal is to add weapons to it, which is cool. It's a, it's a different style than what most people are used to. Uh, I liked it. I thought it was a lot of fun. Um, I know that they're getting into a point now I think they're starting to kind of lose the battle with the other fighting games though, because they're kind of backing off, much like Virtual Fighter been backing off. Um, Street Fighter is just starting to kick it back up. They took kind of a hiatus for a while, um, not really getting much news or attention. Uh, mainly because I think they wanted to really perfect the games for PS3 and then moving on to PS4 with the uh, with the next game. So you know they're they're trying to get back into the game. Mortal Kombat has always been there, uh, no matter how much uh, the SRB rating system has tried to to stop them. Uh, they they're not going anywhere anytime soon. I don't think. So that's my choice. Mortal Kombat is my pick. Let me know what you guys think. <clears throat> Leave a comment in the section below with your choice for which of these four you would pick as your favorite fighting game franchise. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and click the like button. Be sure you share this video, um, favorite it, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I'm going to try to get uh, back into the swing of uploading more regularly. I know I've been kind of gone for a while. I'm going to try to record a vlog for you guys so that you can uh, have some explanations to what's been going on in my life. Um, but yeah, check that out. Um, be sure to check out my social media. I'm going to be uh, hopefully posting more on my Facebook and Twitter and Tumblr. Um, most of my Facebook and Twitter, Tumblr, I, I, I use it, but I don't use it. It's mostly for putting my videos out there. Um, mainly just because I haven't had a whole lot of interaction on there. Um, also, I do have Snapchat for those of you guys who like to use Snapchat, so be sure to check me out on there. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, just be sure to check out my other videos, guys. Uh, at the end of my videos, I try to add some annotations for older stuff that I've done, so feel free to check out other stuff I've got on my channel, and you guys have a nice day.